everyone, Caroline here. Today we're going to make a very yummy uh, gift card. Um, that's a, a proper card with a section in for putting a lovely bar of chocolate. I've got one of the yummy uh, Cadbury cream egg bars. Mm. Okay, uh, and I'm going to be using the Imala forever and always for the front. But uh, obviously, use you can use uh, any. You can use the fairy friends that have got the bunnies on. Uh, any of your nice ones for Easter. Um, fold this over. This is an A4 sheet of card. Any colour card you want, but it's up to you what your colour scheme is. But I want it uh, white on the base. Just make sure that it's into there, and just pinch it a little bit at the top so you know where the middle is there. And I put a little dot with a pencil because it can be rubbed off after it's, we're not precious about it. And what you want to do, either side of that dot, you want to score uh, one centimetre. So the dot is on the one centimetre there and you're going to score. It. And then you're going to take it over to the other side and score one centimetre on that side as well. And don't uh, don't fold and burnish it yet because um, well you can just fold it a little bit but um, not not too much because we're going to uh, mat and layer on that and we we'll, we want it fairly flat. Now we're going to do the section for inside, and for that we want um, we want a piece that's. Uh, 15 centimetres by 12. So let's cut the 12 first. Oops. That's, right. That's the 12 by 15. Then we're going to score again one centimeter, then two centimeters. We're going to turn it round and we're going to do the same one centimeter and two centimeters. So you can see the lines there. Now we need it along this edge as well that's the where it's going to sit in the pocket so one centimeter and two centimeters okay now we're going to cut and when we cut you've got like an M here it's an M shape I'll show you Can you see that? So it's like an M shape. And then you want to cut, because um, when that bends over, you want to be able to tuck that in. So uh, cut to there. So can you see how that's a flap there? So I normally cut my M first. in there like that and that gives you your flap and then you can fold and burnish okay I've done with my uh, burnishing tool and burnish in the description I'll put exactly what the sizes are so that you don't have to uh, keep watching the video over and over just to um, to see it now as you can see that will fit inside there like that
just miter those edges a little bit, just like that. Just miter them. So that when you're ready to put it on your card, that fits in like that. And you see where the chocolate's going to go down? Okay, so let's get our card. And what I've done is I've done some mats and layers. I'd like mine in purple. So I'm going to put a mat on here like this. But underneath, I want to put some ribbon because I want to be able to tie it afterwards. So I'll use my... Um, my sticks too. So find where you know it's about centre. And pop some ribbon in there. Give yourself plenty of ribbon. Um, so that you know exactly where it is. Remove that. That's going to go there. It's going to go there. If you need to, get your ruler to go across so that you know exactly where you want your, your sticky to be. So it's about level. your other ribbon under there on there and then we can glue this top down It'd be a really nice gift card for that side okay I'll just leave that to dry uh, to one side what I've done is I've done um, for my for the front I've done a piece of white card and that's the one I'm going to stamp with my lovely flower that'll go on the front there so I'm going to pop this card to, to one side to dry while I stamp out my lovely forever and always stamp nice in there actually it does doesn't it in fact I'm gonna go further up right to the top there and I'm going to stamp it with my pretty colour inside indigo keeping with the purple theme Isn't it? Okay, got my stamp. I'm 
we'll colour that in now. I'm going to use pencils on this, uh, my colouring pencils today. Uh, these are my Castle um, soft series ones. Uh, I'm going to start off with a very light one. Just leaving a little bit of white here to show that where the petal of it bends. I mean, you can use your alcohol markers as well if you want. These the pretty colours are hybrid inks, so you're quite safe with them. isn't it? If you're new to colouring, I normally use either two or three shades of a colour. And it gives it that lovely 3D look to it. But I'll see how I'll go on with two for this to save time. I'll go in with a darker one. And I'll go along the edges with the darker one as well. And that sh helps show where it bends. along the edge there then bring it out from the middle like that as I've mentioned before on your stamps it does show you where shading is it helps you so you know follow those lines that they give you And they're a marvellous guide. They really are. Wonderful guide. It's looking pretty, isn't it? And to send something like this, it, it makes a change from just sending a card, but you can send a treat inside, you know, without uh, spending too much. It's a little gift. I'm not being too um, precious with this because of time. I don't want to, for you to, unless you're new to colouring and want to take it all in. If not, and you want to skip to the end, skip a bit further along, you can fast forward, can't you? This is a bit darker. I'm going to try this darker one here because that's more bluey, isn't it? Can you see that by just following those lines and leaving that white there, it's made that petal look like it's bending over. Like that. Very 
wherever you think there's going to be shading, shade it in. Just by getting that darkness behind that line there, that just helps you um, define it, doesn't it? Defines that line. You see? That's made quite a difference, hasn't it? Uh, the shorts that I do, the 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 um, you know for tips and whatever, uh, quick tips. Uh, you'll find that in the shorts. If you want to see those, you can click on videos, lives, shorts, and um, I do some shorts because on the videos, I don't like to do the fast forward ones. You, you know, you're watching it at speed. I find sometimes when you you miss things when you're watching it at speed. And anyway, I think sometimes it's nice to just sit and watch a video, isn't it? And I like to do that on YouTube and watching the lives. It's nice. Nice for us crafters anyway. <laughs> I'm sure my husband would rather watch football. There we are. Yes, that's quite... Um, this is a darker colour still even. I don't know if any of you have got these, um, these castle soft series but they really are lovely pencils to work with as you can see you know you get the colour on really well So as you can see, I've, I've done about three or four different tones and what a difference it makes to the effect of your flower and whatever it is you're doing, colouring, you get more dimension with it. Can you see? Okay, I'll do green now for the leaves. So again, I'll start with a quite a pale one. Uh, probably this one. This one's called Le oh, Leaf Green. <laughs> well, that's right, isn't it? left some white on here just to puff that leaf out and now 
I'll go for a darker green. Uh, I'll just check. I'll just check because sometimes you can get it. Um, it's not always a green. It'll be a, like a teal colour. Yeah, like a bluey green. So you're going up the um, the stem of it, and where all the the lines go out. All the veins so you know accentuate those as the as they go out you see and just along the edge there a little bit down the stem so that it's not flat so you're just doing half of the stem like that And again up the centre and then work your way out and around the edge. Up the centre. And you can see that light has just sort of popped it out a little bit, hasn't it? And then a darker one, just a slightly darker, just up that centre bit again. See what a difference that makes. We're nearly done. Hope you've all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. This is a little bit longer today because I wanted to do this gift box. And there we have that. grey marker like I usually do and I just go around the edge of it like that just to make it stand out it's called a drop shadow and that drop shadow makes it look like you've decoupaged it Always remember it does dry lighter. This is a number three, Pro Marker number three, grey, cool grey. And uh, just around the outer edge. Drop shadow. And like I say, it does dry lighter, so don't be alarmed when you put it on. You think, oh, that's a that's a dollop of dark grey. Can you see? This is lightning now. I'm going much lighter. It's 
it dries. You see how that's made it pop? Don't think we've missed any, have we? Even now, I'm finding it hard to see where I've done it. Okay. Now, I just want to do a little bit of stencil work. I got, um, oh, do you know, I don't even know where I got it. I think it was off eBay or somewhere like that. Um, and it's got Easter eggs all over it for the background. And I'm just going to use a little bit of Distress Oxide sponge sugar. And I just want to add that little bit of a pink, pink effect to the back. And it's not too stark white. Let me see. Just at the back there and there. If you've got a nice floral one, that'll be nice. Or a leaves as well. So that's just in there like that. I'm not going to the bottom, just doing the, the top there. Just edging that like that. Okay, that's that done. Put my lid back on my Distress Oxide. Then I'm going to bring my card back. And I'm going to stick that on there like that. And that make it pop. Beautiful. Lovely stamp is this. I'll leave a link for it if you haven't got it. Any of you that are, are still new to iMal, I know a lot of people have the, all the collections of iMal. It's uh, because they all work so lovely together as well as individually. nice so when that is closed we're going to tie that ribbon it's lovely isn't it but um i thought we would put um a nice little uh, easter tag here like that maybe with a bit of ribbon on we can do that let's put that in there little bit of matching ribbon just a little one just uh, cut that off and you can add a tag there if you like like that and I also did a, one of the um, I'm our uh, fly away butterflies if you've got them in, in the kit as well um, and I thought that would be uh, lovely on here with the butterfly like that on there so I'm going to pop that on last but there's so many things you can do isn't there you can even decoupage on here I found a flower a rose and it says uh, with lots of love and I can stick that on there as well for the back if I wish or you can do a match in one of these, cut that out and do that on the back. So now we're going to do the pocket inside. We're going to glue that down. Um, I do recommend red tape to hold it. Fold it out flat. It's a bit of ink on there, shouldn't be. That's going to go under there, so it needs to be on the very, very edge you tape. Like that.
Okay. Back on the very edge there. Like that. Then before you uh, glue it down, um, you can decorate the front of it. so we won't see that and I've got um, special Easter wishes to you to go on there like that <clears throat> whereas you would normally stamp inside your card you can stamp on, on the front of the uh, panel the little box front Again, I've used the pretty colour inside from Stamps by Me. It's nice, isn't it? Then if we take these edges off, If you want to as well, you can use a stencil and make that pretty as well. That would be nice. So now we want to in there you can add a little bit of glue on those corners if you wish that'll hold it in as well not too much on there okay and fold that and grab that corner that's got the sticky on it pull that down like that it's one corner done Same with the other. Pull that corner down as well. Nice and tight, like that. And can you see you've got that on there? That is now going to go on your card. So make sure you've got your card the right way up. Just fold it over, make sure that's the front. And then pop this down near the bottom and central on this side of your card like that just use something to uh, go down and make sure those those um those sides are stuck properly and then your, your chocolate will go inside like that can you see woohoo and then tie your bow. Like that. to stick my butterfly on like that like that put a piece of white card underneath and then you can, you can see that better or maybe white card would have been better so doesn't that make a lovely gift for some to receive that uh, i'm going to be making a box for it and i'll show you how to do that in my next video so 
whoever gets it is going to open it and think, what is in here? And there it is. You can also just add a, a little bit of a tip, a little bit of, um, with your, your tape pen under there, just to hold it in place a little bit, so that it doesn't slide out of the top. Now, on the uh, Crafty Army with Carly, um, if you're in that group, I am going to be giving this away as a special Easter gift. So if you're in the group, I'll leave a link. Um, come and join us, pop your name down and you could win this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. If you have, give us a thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And we would appreciate it if you'd share with your friends. <laughs> Thanks very much. Bye bye.